Hello fellow diecasters, welcome to another insane episode here on Diecast Insanity. Hope you guys have had a good week, hope you've done some hunting this week and found what you're looking for. Um, I hit Target on Wednesday, I think it was, and they had a whole front end cap display up, had a bin down on the bottom and some peg stuff up high. They didn't have anything new in the way of um, premium cars. Still looking for the, the first wave of the next um, car culture truck team transporters. Uh, I haven't seen them anywhere yet here in town, so I've been looking out for those. I want the Mercedes um, in that. I want the Ford Mustang in that. And there's, um, there's one other one that I want. They've got pictures of the next set coming out already, but I still haven't even seen those sets here in town. So still looking out for those. But I did find five mainline cars for the collection, and we're going to take a look at those right now. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. So let me set up and we'll take a look. All right, so two of these we're not going to open. I'm going to leave them in the package for now. One, because I don't have a lot of room in the uh, Planos for it um, within the category that I would be putting it in. And then the other one I just want to keep in the package because it's got such a cool package. But first up, I found, and these are all, I believe, oh, no, we got different, we got different cases here. Okay, so... I think these might no they're not international these are US cases because they have the new symbol on them so this one is from the K case I believe this is the uh, Datsun 620 in the JDM Legends uh, livery very cool gonna leave this one in the package for now just because um, my trucks are getting kind of full and I want to wait till we get a couple more Planos before I before I open this one that one but it's really cool in this kind of primered um, reddish uh, rust color really neat truck got the steelies on it but really cool there and then the other one I want to leave in the package for now um, is new for 2020 it's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles party wagon wasn't quite sure if I was gonna pick this one up until I actually whoop, actually saw it but it, it's actually really cool my wife's a huge Ninja Turtles fan has been since she was a kid she thought this was really really cool and when i saw it i'm like yeah i'm gonna pick it up it's really neat so pick that one up as well so the other three that we're gonna open we're gonna start oh and by the way the party wagon is from the j case um the next one we're gonna look at and we're gonna open this one this is also from the j case this is the bmw z4 m motorsports this car this is only the sixth ever release of this car there's not a whole lot of these out there if you want to collect this particular one there's only six different castings including this one there was two colors of the first edition which i have the white one there's a white and a black there is a mystery model and then there is a um um the it was a super in 2017 i believe so there's a main and a super of that, and then there's this model. Now there is a seventh one that showed up in nine packs that they do not list. There was a couple of the um, supers that were found with a regular regular wheels on it in nine packs, but I'm not sure if you want to classify that as a release. It was kind of an error. I, I never saw it, but um, but there could, you could consider that there's seven releases of this car. But there's only six actually documented. Um, this is only the second edition of this car I have. I have the first edition, and now I have the latest edition in these BMW colors. This one's going to go up in the Planos with the BMWs. Uh, my first edition is over in the Curio with my other race cars. So, really neat paint job on it with the lace wheels. Um, I can't remember. Does the first edition have lace wheels? No, they have PR5s. So it looks really cool with these gray laced wheels and the homage to the BMW colors there. So really neat there. So if you guys want that car there's and want to collect it fully, there's only six different editions. So the next two I have are also going to open. They are both new for 2020. I found the now 2019 Corvette ZR1 convertible in the first color, the orange. This is from the H case. 
very nice car um, the next color in this car I believe is blue is that metallic blue color that'll be coming out so there'll be a recolor coming out really soon it's showing up in nine packs I believe and will be out on the pegs as well really nice car love the uh, love Corvettes this is probably I've heard a lot of rumors this is probably the last stingray casting we're gonna see before the c8 comes out so the next vet we see will probably be the new rear engines or mid-engine c8 corvette in hot wheels so if you want to finish off your c your stingray c7 category this is probably going to be the last one and then it's recolor as well and then we're probably going to see the c8 so really neat there and then the last one we're going to pick up picked up this is also from the k case also new for 2020 we picked up the 2020 jeep gladiator in this beautiful red so really nice motorcycles in the back really really cool so now i can scratch these off of the list of um what i need to complete 2020 um, there's a couple, I think the only one now that is out that I know of that I don't have is the 98 Honda Prelude and the 91 GMC Cyclone in black. I don't want the red one, I want the black one. I think those are the only two that I need that have already been out. The other ones are, um, are coming or just now come out. Um, the McLaren Speedtail and the um, Koenigsegg Jesco just recently came out, so it might be a little bit before I see those. I want to pick those up. And then there's the uh, 98 Mazda RX-7, the 99 um, 150 Lightning in the main line. I have it in the premium. Um, the Porsche 914 Safari, the Bentley Continental GT3, and the Mustang Shelby GT500 are the other ones that I want and those have not come out yet those are probably in the um, P and Q cases coming up so but I'm glad that I found these I didn't have to I've been looking at some a couple of these on eBay especially the gladiator but I was hoping to be able to find it in store and I did and so that's this week's haul hope you guys enjoyed it I'm um, sorry I have no three for Thursday it was up on Thursday I kind of I kind of blitzed doing those over the weekend, so I'm going to do a couple this weekend and get them done and and uh, edited and posted for release on Thursdays for the next couple of weeks. Got a couple of neat ideas for three for Thursday. I just got to figure out what cars I want to do for that and be on the lookout for that. Um, next week, um, there may not be any videos. Um, we're going to have a big slot car race here at my place next week. We have an annual Labor Day weekend race. That's coming up next weekend. So I may not do some, do anything on the on the diecast side. I may do something during the week, but I'm not really sure. So probably the next thing you're going to see is the biweekly is the uh, three for Thursday, and then um, next week was the main episode. So I'll kind of make it up to you guys down the road. Maybe we'll do a two for the next weekend or whatever. So, but uh, I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you have found what you have, are looking for this week. And remember, leave some on the pegs or in the bin. For, every, for all the other collectors in your area because they'd like to find these cars too and just simply have fun with the hobby and I'll catch you guys in the next episode I'm out, bye